Hey everybody, welcome back to episode three of the Thatcher Walkthrough. We have about 16 hours uh, added into our build since uh, episode two. Um, we've uh, kind of refined the control uh, in, uh, linkages. Um, we've done some work on the C1 and 2 and C7 and 8 ribs. Uh, in here we've got uh, some issues that we want to uh, talk about and uh, so let's go. Okay, let's talk about the control linkages here. Um, we've kind of uh, cleaned these up, uh, got them uh, running a lot smoother. We've added washers uh, into the control rod uh, joints, the rod end bearings. And uh, at these points here, um, the forks that the rod end bearings were in were pinched so close together that the rod end bearing couldn't swivel very far. Um, it was causing that when you did the elevator motion, the rod, end, uh, the rod would drag the uh, elevator torque tube uh, back and forth. Um, we added a uh, little bit of little washers uh, in there, which opened up the uh, gap, but still kept the uh, bearing uh, uh, like there. And now we have full motion, and uh, the torque tube doesn't slide. We also added anti-slide sleeves in here. They're, they're not bolted in uh, because they're actually just clamped. They, they just pinch the uh, tube in by itself. We just put a spacer so that it uh, goes up against uh, here, and then on the aft end, put a spacer at this point in here that runs up against the, uh, the, the rod end bearing. Um, with those, we have very little play, probably about a 64th of an inch uh, in there is all the play we have in here. So we've also added uh, our aileron bell cranks. Uh, we fabricated those, uh, riveted them together. Um, I want to mention uh, the construction uh, and the components in this section in here. The plans, um, show that there's a nylon bearing that has a quarter inch inside diameter and with quarter inch AN4 uh, washers. But it is an AN3 bolt that holds the entire assembly together. There is kind of a maybe a cryptic uh, uh, entry on the, the plans that just talked about a shaft, quarter inch uh, by 3 16th shaft. Basically, it is a uh, bushing that you machine and Dave Thatcher says you can really make it out of anything you have available. I made it out of aluminum. You can get steel uh, 4130 from aircraft spruce. That is quarter inch outside, 3 16 inside uh, diameter, and you just cut it to length. That would work there. But I didn't uh, have that, didn't want to wait for the uh, parts to come in. So I just machined it out of a little piece of tubing. Matter of fact, it's the same tubing that forms uh, the control rods. Uh, just chucked it up in a lathe and uh, did that. So. You machine that so it acts as a sleeve between the quarter inch uh, washers and bushings and the uh, AN3 bolt and it is exactly the uh, gap here which is one and a quarter inch. Um, that will allow you to tighten this bolt down uh, in there. It stops on the bushing but allows this to float just enough um, that it doesn't pinch, doesn't bind. Uh, you can do it. Now you can see I've got a little bit too close in here. Um, in there it is just almost uh, too close. We can adjust that by just moving a washer from the top down to the bottom. That'll move the whole assembly up because we have plenty of clearance uh, along the top side. Uh, if you notice, I haven't even tightened this down. There actually, maybe once I t get it tightened, um, should have some room in there. So we've got that going uh, in here. Let's talk about the C2 rib uh, in here. <coughs> If you notice the C2 rib, let me just unclamp it quick. On the aft end, there is a bracket that holds the rear spar to the lower longeron uh, in here. That comes around here, bolts in here, but it, now you no longer have a flat surface that this rib is supposed to go up against. This rib is supposed to have a tail, very much like this one here, and normally would rivet to the back spar. Um, emailed uh, David Thatcher and he said that you can just cut this end off uh, to clear that because this can be riveted nine ways to Sunday to the uh, sheet uh, of the side and the bottom uh, and the uh, longer on uh, in here. So you're gonna have plenty of um, attachment points for this rib so we're not concerned about it having to attach to the rear spar. Okay, let's talk about one thing that's gonna come up here uh, quite soon, and that is the torque tube uh, for the speed brake 
um, also called the flaps uh, on the plans. The torque tube runs uh, through the holes uh, along the seat pan. You can see we've already got one bearing installed on the seat pan, and that is the only bearing that gets in the seats. The other two bearings get installed on the uh, inner wing ribs here and uh, here. Before we can mount uh, those bearings, we will need to take the actual 5 8 inch steel shaft and place it through this bearing, uh, run it through the holes, and then slide the bearings on and mark where they fall. These bearings, although they are self-aligning uh, uh, angular-wise, they do not have really any play up and down or side to side. So you have to make sure that you do have a, uh, a straight line bore uh, on all three, and you do that by uh, sliding those on and marking the positions before you actually bolt them. Uh, at that point, you know you've got good alignment and you, you can place them in there. Also, one other thing. Last week, we, in episode two, we talked about a bulkhead that uh, Dave Thatcher said you need to fabricate. It's not on the plans. That uh, bulkhead is uh, designed to hold the aluminum fuel lines as they run to the center uh, seat area and then forward through the, the wing spar. Before that can be uh, placed, you have to make sure you, the, you have the uh, motor for the speed brakes uh, installed. It is a uh, power window motor for a Honda Civic uh, in there, and it bolts pretty much right underneath the, the torque tube uh, in here. But it's uh, kind of a large uh, item, so you'll want to make sure you have plenty of room uh, for that. So that needs to be acquired. It needs to be uh, placed and fitted. Uh, before we can design this bulkhead. The fuel lines as they come in can actually start moving forward uh, in this bay and then come in here well in front of that motor so we don't really have any problems. We just make, need to make sure we know where it needs to go. Um, other than that, that's all we've got time for, uh, for this episode. Uh, until then, keep building and uh, we'll see you for episode four.